Thank you so much, team, for jumping on the call this morning. I appreciate it. Really do. Um, we're going to talk about today as we continue Take Flight version 4.0, we're going to talk about um, the need to focus on getting 1% better every day or each and every day. And before I do that, I'm going to remind you of my professional purpose. And that is to help you, the broker, optimize your productivity and help you become the best version of yourself. Why? Because happy brokers sell more real estate. And I do that, I do that by helping you handle challenges and opportunities that you face every single day. And if you can, and if you can effectively manage certain situations that arise on a daily basis in your business, you will be more productive and live a life that is the best version of you. And on today's 190th episode of my Monday Morning Pep Talk, we will dive into the concept of 1%. A concept so simple, so simple, yet the 97% find it incredibly, incredibly hard to do. The process of getting to 30,000 feet does not happen overnight. In fact, in most cases, it takes years of work to create a life and a business that is in flow. I think we forget that, the amount of time, the importance of patience. Today, we'll dive deeper into the power of getting 1% better every single day. One must realize what the majority of super achievers have figured out, that massive action is not what makes them successful. What makes a super achiever or an elite level producer successful is the tiny daily, weekly habits and routines executed consistently over a long period of time. As James Clear, as James Clear states in his best-selling book, Atomic Habits, habits are the compound interest of self-improvement. And he goes on to say that getting just 1% better every day for a year, just a year, will reserve, re result in a 37.78 times improvement. 37.78x improvement. Can you believe that? This is why habits and routines are a basic ingredient for success. Mix all of these ingredients together and you've got yourself a masterpiece. Habits and routines have a key role in the recipe of success. They are the flour in a cake recipe. Can't live without them, right? If you do not implement productive and consistent habits and routines, you will plateau and over time, you will take a step back. In this same conversation, we must discuss the negative effects of apathy. The key is that you don't want to take 1%. You don't want to take a 1% step back, okay? If you take a 1% step back on any given day, that means that the next day you've got to do another 1% plus a 1% to stay on that day-to-day -day consistent growth pattern. 30 days going 1% backwards most likely will never be able to be caught up. Let's do some quick math, shall we? Would your business be more predictable if you made three prospecting attempts each weekday? 45 weeks out of 52. That's 675 attempts during that year. What if you made three reach outs to your past clients 45 weeks out of 52? That's again, 675 reach outs during that year. What if you just dropped one handwritten note in the mail each weekday, 48 weeks out of 52, that's 240 handwritten notes in the mail, people that are meaningful to you just in that one year. The reality is it's mathematically impossible for you to not help more clients and sell more real estate while building a more predictable and enjoyable business if you completed those three things. You just have to do it. It's just an hour a day of your time to do those things those three activities. Now, I know you want more on this, more on the how, and I've got two previous Take Flight episodes that completely dive deeper into the how. And that's episode 189, which is playing on offense. This is last week's call. If you win the morning, you'll win the day. Okay, that's when you plan everything. So if you didn't listen to last week's call, go on and jump on episode 189. And then go back to one episode 185, which is plan your flight, plan, execute, track, celebrate, repeat. Plan, execute, track, celebrate, and repeat. You guys, it's really about stacking victories one on top of the other. That's how you win. That's how you win. And then I also, uh, last week, and I'm 
the email gave you the download to my daily time management form. If you complete this each day, you're going to be 1% better. I guarantee you. And that I'm going to put again on this week's email. I want to wrap this episode up with what Kobe, the late Kobe Bryant says on the topic. At the end of every day, you look at yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, did I get better today? The answer is yes. And if you do that for five years, 10 years, 15 years, how much better are you going to be? Are you getting better every single day? That's the question. It's about taking the small steps. You don't try to get it all done in one day, in one week, in one year. It's the process of getting better every day and doing that for a period of years. That's how you create the masterpiece. He said it so much more eloquently than I did. You get the point. 1% better every day is the, is the key. And super achievers and elite level producers have figured this out. They really have. So I think you're starting to see after just the first two episodes of the tail section of Take Flight that there's so much power in supporting your goals and visions with solid systems, processes, habits, and routines, and what those will have in terms of significance. It's just, they're just going to have a significant impact on you to get you getting to 30,000 feet. And that's the goal. Get to 30,000 feet, pull the engines back, and you're in flow. But you cannot do that without really understanding the power of time, stacking victories, and creating a consistent effort over a long period of time. We talked about it. Consistency is your fuel. You do not have fuel. You do not get that plane off the ground. You have no shot. So it's about consistent effort and building systems, processes, processes, habits, and routines that are going to benefit you over a long period of time. Team, thank you so much for jumping on the call. I appreciate it. I will talk to you in two weeks. Next week, I'll be at the Global Networking event. So we'll skip a week for that, and I'll be back uh, in two weeks. Thank you so much.